I would like to pour one out. Hypothetically. Mm. Pour one out for my boy Reggie, who just finished uh, buying a 2000 series. Oh, no! In when? advance of this announcement about a month or two ago. No, they were already talking about these a month ago. And he was told. But he's building his new rig and he's doing it the way I fucking recommended he not do it, which is getting them piece by piece. He got the video card first. Uh, he's he got I think he got his chipset, and then he's gonna start getting other things. And I was like, dude, that is the absolute worst way to build a computer. Exactly. And I tried to tell him this, and then someone sent in a message to go, dude, they're already talking about the next generation, the three thousands, the Nvidia three thousands. We already know they're about to get to to drive. I was looking at leaked benchmarks like two weeks ago we told him it's a rough i told you so but it also I, i've been looking at building a new pc and like just keeping my existing one as a backup or maybe a recording device right that kind of thing maybe put it upstairs have it be like a second streaming room but like so i'm looking at like getting an amd thing right i'm looking at motherboards i'm looking at processors what do i find out what's the first thing i find out that i look up i go and i click upcoming amd processors and you get a page of the new, new processor from amd are rumored to come out in september october i go okay well i'm not going to choose my motherboard until i know what the processors are so i'll fucking wait until they at least exist the video cards like nvidia does the same fucking thing every single year at the same time in the same month they always do it in august yeah i mean you know He's he's new to this game and like I and you know getting advice from a couple sources and and I think he kind of listened to someone that was like oh look there's a deal there's a deal on these get the you know there's a like a uh, you can go get these now and like you the the frenzy of some friends being like uh, oh shit go get this part right now it's on sale or whatever just kind of kicks never, in ev that is literally a buyer's trap that they do. 100%. The, the, manufa the manufacturers two months before the new cards come out put in some shitty $200 off a $2,000 card deal and then they go, hey, because they know that the price on those things is going to crash down like $500 the, the day that the new ones get announced. So the fucking 3080 gets announced and it's everything and more and it's less expensive than the one Have he you, got. You've You've seen the 3090, right? You've literally seen the photo of the fucking thing? The baby? The thing that's Look, the size I, I of a child? I just sent it to you. It, the like, fucking foot-long, 38-pound video card. So, like, step one, first of all, is, like, find a box that's even going to fit this shit in it. Easy. Any, any decent mid-size ATX that has a storage bay that can be removed will fit it. Okay. Uh... Second is, and this is an important one, and you are probably well aware of this, the first generation might suck. So, this is the second generation of the style of card. The first generation was the last one, and it kind of did suck. Um, you gotta wait for the second impact. Is, what you're thinking of is the first batch and yes, the first batch might suck. There's a higher likelihood at the very beginning to get a brick in the mail. Uh, that has totally happened to me. Um, so you need to kind of wait a little bit to see how it's going before dipping your toe in. Especially well, that, on this kind of investment. That used to be the case more, but now they the, now the way that it ends up working is that a couple days before the cards actually go on sale, Tom's Hardware and Hard OCP and Legit Reviews and all those places will have their benchmark reviews and performance reviews up ahead of time. 
So you still might run into like a brick being sent to you, but in terms of actual performance per dollar, you'll know. Uh, like nobody got it and got a 2080 Ti a couple years ago, not knowing what they were going to get. Okay, fair enough. Uh, um, hard OCP is gone. That sucks. Oh man. But um, and also, and here's the funny thing: the reason why they do that now, especially, is because if the reviews aren't out by the time the things go like live, you're not going to get a card. You're just not going to get it. The idea mm. of like waiting, you, you so you get to either get it the day they go live on sale, or wait until next year. So, um, I'm not. I don't. Uh, we I've had this the, the discussion a couple times now, and it was like, like Reggie just came in and slumped, defeated, onto the couch, and I'm like, dude, look, you should have passed him along to me because I would have fucking scream my ass off he knows his dumb he ass. knows he knows at this point right it's so it's not to rub salt in the wound on this thing right but like uh it, it it is very clear at this point that like that was the fuck up that was the mistake but here's what i'm but here's what i'm telling him all right i'm like reggie you're you're trying to build yourself a nice rig right you want to he wants to stream with it and stuff um are you going to be streaming in 8k anytime soon 8k 60 at that probably not probably right? not so what you're looking to 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 play and stream um will be more than handled by what he got yes it will absolutely he will be fine and when unless he unless he goes cheap on the processor uh i think he's taking his time with it i'm not 100 percent, but i think he's i think he's going not cheap on it but of course saving up for it but okay, like by the way the processor there are new processors coming out in a month and a half okay all right all right <laughs> okay. okay yes there uh, are new ones coming in like six weeks okay uh, I will it, me, I will let him know that immediately and fucking send him in this direction because here's the thing um the 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 it, it's what he has is prop is more than fine for what he's planning to do and then um a couple years maybe two years from now if and when you start seeing like regular application of 8k then you want to kind of look into it when uh, uh, the platforms that you can use it on are ready for it, then you might want to possibly consider your options based on what is available to buy. But for now, what you have is fine, and it will be fine for a very long time. And that's the main thing is that, like, he knows that, but it just feels bad to know that the generational leap has already occurred and it's cheaper, and it's right there, and that you're the getting stuck. cards, like the 2080 T, so what do you get, a TI, a 2080 TI, or a 2080? Uh, I think it was, was it a 75, or an 80, I'm not, I don't, well, there is a, no such thing as a No, 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 I think, I think, I think he, I think he said, I think he said 2080, I think he said 2080. Okay, the 3080 is like $300 cheaper, and literally twice as fast. Yeah. So, it sucks to know that that is out there for that price. It does let him still do everything he set his goals for. Nothing will be out of reach. Like, the product he purchased will do what he needs it to do. Yeah. It's just extra knowledge that, fuck, you know? Now, here's the thing. Everybody has made this mistake with PC stuff at some point. Most of us made this mistake back in the 90s and it cost us like $60 in terms of opportunity cost, right? <laughs> Nowadays, these things, oh, they're pricey. Fuck. You really, really got to fucking learn. A th it's like learning a skill. Figuring yeah. out what, when to buy your PC parts. And not just that, but not getting suckered into, oh, shit, it's on sale, right? 
but actually, at least for me, I, because I'm like, I've been through the ringer on this. I've built my shit. I've done it. Now it is wait till you can have the whole thing put together and sent to you complete. Right? Or at least all the pieces and then you'll sign. At the very least, all the parts and then you do it yourself. Whatever you want. But so, uh, waiting New to Egg have actually it all. Has a, New Egg has a really good feature for this where they have a PC builder, air quotes. But it's literally just pick out all the parts and they'll be like, do you want this, 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 this? Yeah. And it'll yeah. only show you co compatible motherboards and compatible CPUs. And then only when every box on this thing is ticked do yeah. you hit the button piecemeal one at a time putting it on the shelf to stare at it and feel good that you have one more piece of the puzzle purchasing is exactly how you fuck yourself over in this way so it's also a good way to fuck yourself over with rmas because if you buy a stick of ram that ends up being defective mm. and then it is uh now actually been sitting on your shelf for two months yeah you might yep. be a little you might be closer or even over the uh fucking warranty for it and you want to talk about like a uh, 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 customer service and 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 uh, uh return policy uh there has never been a field of hardware i can think of that was more aggressive with absolutely no returns under no circumstances than pc hardware you're fucking holding whatever you purchase it made its mm -hmm. way to you. That's done. Unless you found, unless you know something I don't know. Uh, uh, I mean, you get an RMA request if depending on where you buy it. The uh, travel that's always alone, that's a pain in the ass. The travel alone is enough for the company to be like, "Nah, that's yours now. No fucking refunds." I'm not sure what you're talking about. I have I've never I've never gotten anything <laughs> where uh they're like they're like yeah we'll take that back no problem especially if you're talking about like uh, uh anything that is really fragile anything that is uh possibly bricked in the box as you said yeah you've made you've made exchanges no problem yeah I have okay fair enough I've gotten no luck on that in the past. But so what I'm probably going to do myself, actually, is wait till the new Ryzen's are announced, uh, grab all the pieces, attempt to put it together myself, and failing that, take it to somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. But you buy all the parts at the same time. That's... That's how you look like this is the learning lesson, I suppose. This is the um, this is the one that hurts, and then you never make this mistake again. Boy, that's this. Oh, he's gonna be real careful in the future. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I did, you know, I guess I maybe I didn't say it strong enough, but yeah, there we definitely got a, a message that came in and went like, like, dude, I like the heads up was there so anyway um but now it, there is you... a trap here the trap is uh best summed up by it's never a good time to buy a video card right mm. because unless you are the kind of if you're the type of person asking for advice about a video card you are unlikely to be asking that question when the bleeding edge is coming out because really the only time to buy PC parts is in that nexus right after they all get announced so that the old parts are at a hard discount, right? And the new parts are at what the price they're going to be at for a year or two. The, the, right? once, you, once you jump into the game, it's ongoing. It's a it's a regular flow, and you have to you know if you decide to to keep up with it. But what I would say is the circumstance where it would have made sense is the one where he was going to get that and take it home and start streaming that night. Yep. Then it's like sure, you want to do this immediately, so be it. You know, it is what it is. You'll be fine. But yeah, that's that's what it was. So. 
In the meantime, 3080s are announced, and uh, God bless. I you might know? actually even get... I usually get the most fucked up big one. I might even actually get a 3080 because it's possible that for mo like at 4K, like, it, like... There's only so fast these fucking things can go in terms of bandwidth. Hmm. And it's quite possible the extra bandwidth on the bigger card is literally just for 8K, which is pointless. Um, I also would recommend anybody who wants to get PC stuff, go check out PC Part Picker. It's probably the number one website in how to get computing parts. And obviously go check out Linus Tech Tips. I don't need to tell you people to check out Linus if you want to learn how to build a computer. Um, well, yeah, that shit drops next week, so. Do your thing. I fucking will. Uh, somebody and... in the in the chat said, is Pat tweeting at NVIDIA during the podcast? Yes, I am. They're having this thing where if you retweet their thing and then put a hashtag in it, they might send you one. And every single one I've said, please give. I also reached out to everyone I possibly could, asking, hey... Do you do you know anyone at Nvidia? Cuz I'll suck a dick. I'll swear to god. And uh what I've gotten back is uh, no, man. Should um people be prepared for the uh possibility of an imminent RPM test stream? What is RPM test? Like when you spin the tires as fast as possible in the garage and on the car. No. You're not going to just... Nope. Okay. I guess that would technically be cyberpunk. Can we make smoke come from the tower? You know? Hopefully not. Yeah. Um. Well, anyway. I don't intend to start streaming in 8K anytime soon. We'll see how this goes. I don't think anything even supports that. Uh, YouTube, I believe, has... Uh, it has the bitrate encoder for it for 4K that is up and, and doing its thing. 8, I have no... I don't think so. I don't think anything is doing it. And I, don't, and I, and I think it's going to take a couple of years. Yeah. Um, anyway, though. When that time comes around, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm, my fucking, my current little, my thing is a small little box. Like, I'm, it, when that comes around, when, it, when the time to upgrade rolls out, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to just have to commit to a whole new thing, you know? Yeah, I'm in a situation where I want to switch processors and I want to change out all my hard drives and motherboard. So it's like, I might as well just do a new build. Well, it, it, there's something like, okay, if you're getting this, if you're getting this fucking beast then you're getting a new power supply. You're getting new fans. You're get, you know what I mean? Like, you might as well just salvage a your thousand hard drive. watts. Will do it, by the way, guys. You don't need a thirteen hundred watt power supply. That's ridiculous. Salvage your hard drives and call it a day. No, man. I want them new four point hard drives. Seen that shit? It's faster. Yeah. Yeah. How much? Very faster. Good. It's good. Shoutouts to computers that are, that are fucking car money. <laughs> You're like, that's yeah. a car sitting right there. Well, yeah, but 5K <laughs> gets you a, a shitty used car. 5K will get you a fucking, like, spaceship computer. 5K will get you a, a an okay used car. Shitty used car is be is beneath that. Like shitbox, you're getting you're, you're you're like if you pay five k, you're getting better than a shitbox. You know. 